Hey, what's up YouTube? Red Skipper here, bringing you a recorded battle of Napoleon Total War. And this is a battle that I actually just stumbled across in uh, my replays. And I completely forgot about it. I think I was going to cast it. And I know it's been a while since I put up a video about, you know, I've been doing school and fun shit like that. So... This is a battle on aggressive flatlands, as you can see. And we have my teammates, Cold Winter, HMG, or Cold Winter, Risk Ward, me, and Django. And we are playing Virus Warcry, CSA Dianic, CSA Outnumbered, and CSA the Commander. So, um, this was fought a while ago, but like I said, I just stumbled across it. And I'm going to be doing more Napoleon Total War videos since Rome 2 is just a shitty game. Yeah. But, alright, so let's get started here. Alright. And so we have Warcry playing as Prussia, Danik playing as Prussia. Uh, the only person that's not Prussia on this map is uh, Outnumbered. He's playing as Great Britain. So I'm bringing my normal aggressive frontlines build. Yeah, if you looked at my armies build or my armies video, I showed this build. We have. Um, Five musketeers, three foot guards, three light infantry, four hussars, the Lutz House Fry Corps, and a militia. So, <clears throat> I will skip forward to when we meet these guys in the first engagements. See you there. Alright, and we're back. So, we are about to start the first engagements, and Dianic is moving up here, and Warcry and Jacob are just starting off their first engagements, and um, so Dianic is advancing his guys, and Outnumbered almost made a mistake. He advanced a little bit too far in front of Dianic, so that could have been badly, and we could have easily flanked them. So the main of the major, the majority of the battle right now is just taking place over here with Django and Warcry starting firing off with their light battle, and it seems like Warcry is winning right now, but light light fights can easily change. And now we have the light fight between me and Danik or Danik fighting or starting. Sorry. So. Yeah, so we're just going to keep firing off, keep firing off, and I think the light fight's down on that between Cole and the commander, and the, uh, our squad and outnumbered are going to start here pretty dang soon. So I don't know what this move was here, but we have Dan Danik advancing two musketeers. Uh, I don't know what he's trying to do here. Uh, I think that might have just been a mistake, and so they're going to get, they're not going to, that's not a good idea. <laughs> To be fair, so he's gonna. I've moved. He's moved up his fenstables or musketeers, kind of be like a mus or kind of be like a militia. And now we have our engagement, our first line engagement between um, Warcry and Django over here, and all the way down here. Cold's first, uh, uh, Cold Winter's first militia has routed. And we have a Prussian hammer over here, swinging around trying to flank cold. So that's not uh, too good at all. But over here, it looks like Risk at Ward's doing pretty well. He's routed one thing of militia and about to take out a second one. And outnumbered lights are not looking too good. I didn't even think he took out another. He took out one thing of uh, light infantry, didn't he? No, maybe not. I don't know. This guy's a lot of militia, though. He's got freaking. He brought six things of fenstables, which is ridiculous. Anyways, we're not going to criticize anybody's build here. And now we have another little mistake. We have a double stacked thing of Prussian fusiliers, so that's going to get chewed up pretty fast because whatever bullets miss, the other ones will hit. And yada, yada, yada. Now we have a, a hussar charge coming into my lights, so we are going to run away, maybe. Yes, we do run away. And, um,. Hopefully waste these hussars. Maybe. 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 Maybe not. Alright. So, apparently these hussars did not die like I was hoping to, and they actually did quite a bit of damage to my light infantry, which is not good at all. Surprisingly, this land is still here, 
And, but now this Hussar unit is going to die. And I have two of my own Hussars going in there. Uh, back to Risk. Risk is still kicking some major ass over here. And Commanders looks to be trying to push up on Cold. And over here, the light fight between Django and Virus War and Warcry is going sour for Django. Um, that down to 16 routed, and it's not looking pretty for Django right now. Yeah, no, not very. Could be going better. Anyways, so back over here, we're moving up another thing of musketeers, and this first light routes finally. So that gives me a nice little uh, advantage. And I'm going to move up my Musketeers here, move up my Lawnver to keep... Try and keep his lights from not hitting mine. And But every time I do this, he moves up a Musketeer unit, which is not good. But now, i got that Cavalry unit in there, and that doesn't really get shot up too bad. But I do get a little, a couple shots off on his running Light Infantry. Which kind of cancels the light infantry effect, as you would know. Ooh, now Risk has got two units in square with foot guards firing on one and two musketeers firing on the oh, musketeers and foot guards firing on the other. Uh, light dragoons coming in to try and hit these musketeers. Maybe, maybe I don't know what that's going for. Uh, it's kind of died down over there on Cold and Commander side, and in the middle, um, we're not really doing anything either. So, I'm going to get a lit couple, couple foot guards, but that's about it. Not doing too much. Now the battle's more come out, more or less come to a halt, um, as um, nobody's really advancing. Uh, Django is not really too eager to advance on Warcry, and I'm okay to take some shots at these foot guards with my two lights. Uh, I don't really mind too much, but those musketeers are going to be a pain in the ass. And eventually, we're just going to have to do something about it. So, I'll just end up on Thing of Musketeers. Risk is still doing some major ass whooping. And still nothing going on over on Cold Side. And the commander more or less on a stalemate. And we have Warcry sending in Hussars. Not good for me. Uh oh. Do I see it? Do I see it? Maybe. Oh, yes, I do. We got the square. Okay, we saw it. Although, it did cost me a lawn fair, finally. Did route. And that Hussar is going to get pretty sh well shot there. And it's time to retreat because that's, this is not a good engagement for me. And I, is that mine? I don't know if that's mine or not. Uh, no, it's not mine. That's Django's. So my Musketeer 6 is a pretty bad beating there. But I do still have three full foot guards. And Danik only has one foot guard, I believe. So, I really just need to route that, and after that we should be looking pretty spectacular. And I still have all five of my cavalry in Dane, because it's down to two, one, I don't know, something like that. And, okay, Riskward lost his first unit to Cav, and I don't know why Outnumbered decided he wanted to suicide his gen in there, but that's what ended up happening, and that's going to route here pretty, pretty soon. And so, again, still nothing over there. It's basically, the entire engagement is basically happening right here and a little bit over here. You know, both of us, trying, me and Danik, trying to gain tactical advantage over each other. But Risk has pretty much gained the upper hand in this fight here. I can't really advance these fenceables because my foot guards are there. And now Risk War did ask for calves so we can just quickly and easily finish off... Um, this guy, uh, outnumbered. So we sent, I think Django sent, or that might be Risks, I don't know. Um, but I'm going to send over two Hussars uh, and help Risk mop up the rest of the uh, this British guy here. So no need to advance, for me to advance. And why he's doing this, I honestly have no clue. That's leaving his foot guards way out in the open, easily susceptible to an entire volley from my foot guards. And they're just getting really messed up. So once he loses those, and I still have a couple, uh, sort of, amount of lights. He's, eh, yeah, we're basically t 
tied in the light fight, I guess. I can say that. That, far, that foot guard is just about on the brink of routing, which is really nice for me. And now I send in my first Hussar uh, to take out the light infantry. Now we're going to come around and see if we can get some back charges into him. Maybe we do. Maybe he sees the square. Oh, well, maybe he doesn't. I'll take it. That's a good charge for me. I don't think I'm concentrating over here, so we have the gap between me and Django, which is never a good thing. So, Risk is still just kicking butt, and he has forgotten this thing that is, uh, oh, oh, there we go. Now he remembers it. Yeah, we gotta get this guy out of here, because he's not gonna go well for him versus, uh, full thing of musketeers. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Anyways. That light engagement, Risk is pushing up his on the last uh, men of outnumbered here, and Cold is gonna tr is trying to push up on Commander, and that's not going. He's basically lost all of his lights, and Commander is looking pretty solid up here, like almost no casualties at all. Um, Although Cold just says, "Okay, let's just uh, let's get these guys out of here. We'll we'll mop him up." And I still have my no, that's not my calf. Just kidding. That's my calf. That's getting bulldozed or bulldo bulldozing. I don't know. Our men don't are running. I'm stupid. And Django sees it, so he's gonna move over. Thing of Lancer. But that's not really a lot that you want. Now we have a more even fight between me, or we have a pretty even fight between me and uh, Danik here. Moved up my more healthy light infantry and pressing up here with my th with my three foot guards, a thing of hussars pushing through his squares, all that fun stuff. Cold has decided he's going to send in oh, all of his calf here, and now Britain is basically gone. He here go, he's got. Three more units, two more units, three more units. So we're just about to, so we're about to mob these guys up here. And over here, Django, eh? Warcry's trying to kite with his with his rifles, which is kind of a dick move, but whatever, he can do what he wants. <laughs> As we've basically won this side here, and once once you've basically won and nobody else has lost. It's a pre pretty good chance that you're going to win this battle. Um, I still have a thing of Hussars in there, which surprisingly. And I don't know what he's doing here. He's got all of his lights grouped up, so I'm gonna, oh. might as well take advantage of that. Bye-bye. Send in the Hussars into the lights infantry and mop them up. And that Hussar is still going pretty freaking hard with only eight men, seven men. Finally routes. Got these hussars in here, and we're probably just gonna run up, oh, run them out, run them back to the foot guards, which are doing really damn well against these musketeers because they really have no more opposition now that there's no foot guards and his lights are over here. So they still he could push on this side with uh, Warcry's help and probably wipe me up here, but I think he's more worried about over over here about getting taken over and. So now Commander is going to get screwed over by his partner, and uh, Risk War is going to start flanking him, and is going to send a couple units to help me out, and or send a couple units over here and start flanking Danik. And again, we're really just not doing anything. There's really nothing going on here. I mean, it's just a lot of kiting from, um, I guess, more boasts kind of. Not really both sides, but... One of, our units has used oh well. its One of my lights is finally out of ammo, unfortunately. <coughs> and here we go. So we got 13 Hussars and two more cavalry units pushing up. And I should be pushing up with these guys as well. All, uh, something like six units. Six units up here. Be pushing up with these two, those two over here. Line up these guys and, yeah, go to the... Go to have a fair. But my my foot guards are having too much fun. I decided I didn't want to spoil it for them, so might as well. All right, we're just fast forward a tiny, a little bit, 
as now we're just gonna start cleaning up with this Danic over here because he only has musketeers and some damaged light infantry which are not gonna stand up against foot guards and uh, three cavalry units so and I still have four musketeers five musketeers although that did hurt a lot but good thing I have a general <laughs> Uh, here comes Risk's couple of units. And over here, we have Risk Guard and Cold Winter now. The commanders had to spread out to counter Risk, so his line here is very weak, and Cold Winter is going to push up with his three, four, four foot guards. Um, three foot guards in the eighth left, technically. But whatever. And Risk Guard's pushing up with Musk. Or that might be Cold. I don't know whose this is. I think this is Cold over here and Risk over here. But, anyways, now we are deciding. Now I've decided it's a good idea to push these guys up. Oh, brilliant. And we still got Cav running, th running a monk through his lines, which is not doing like, any casualties, surprisingly. And here he comes again. Oh, no, nope, we're going we're gonna to attack him. I think my guys are out of ammo, anyways. Yeah, we're just going to go melee. And here comes Risk's guys coming to save the day. And Risk has got still. Or this might just be cold. But the battle's basically been won now. Um, and here, uh, Warcry is going to try and charge Django, which he kind of succeeds in doing, but not really. Um, we're, we're holding really strong here. And now we have this entire flank, and as you can see on the mini map, we have his, he's Warcry is now surrounded. Um, commander is out. The commander is outnumbered here, and not good for anybody. If you see this, this, this is bad. Unless it's white, then then it's good. But if it's blue, it's or red, it's bad. I guess. It's good for me. Good for us. If it's it's good if it's blue. Good if it's white. Or, I don't know. Could be both. I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to stop talking because I'm just babbling about. Anyways. So, we now basically the end game here, which Django's going to push up all of his units. I'm going to push up the rest. Of, I'm going to keep pushing up my guys. He doesn't know exactly where to face. He's going to face me, but Django's can get some easy, easy free shots right in the back. That's going to hurt a lot. Um, he doesn't know what to do. I still have two, two full. or a half a cavalry unit and a full cavalry unit in the back. I guess we lost a general. That might be cold. What's cold doing? Oh, sorry. Unrestricted camp does that. Uh, cold's looking pretty solid. I think this is all cold here. He's got still got a shit ton of foot guards. Full one, two, three, three full units of foot guards. So that's not going to play out well for the commander. And last little surviving scraps of uh, war cry here. I've got my jet or my two cab in there, and he's just trying to shoot me. I'm just gonna run my foot guards in because they're out of ammo anyways. He's got his guy in square, maybe not. I don't know, but it's 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 basically gone here. So yeah, good game to everybody that played. So outnumbered, Danik. Warcry, everybody that played, you'll see the the scoreboard. There you go. So Risk Word did uh, some beast in here, and yeah. So very good game to everybody that played, and um, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully sooner than a month later. <laughs> um, yeah, and don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. See you next time.